Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Cube SMB. Last time we started to work on our brand new shop at Spawn, and today I have a couple of things that are on my to do list. First thing is first, let's get check. Oh my god, my freaking view bobbing turned off. Fun fact about Strawberry Jam Strawberry Jam likes to play with view bobbing turned, um, turned off uh, during, uh, not. What the heck is that sound? Hello? Okay, there's a sound playing. Um, Strawberry Jam enjoys playing Minecraft with view bobbing turned off, but while recording, he likes playing it turned on because it makes the videos look more action packed whilst recording. But anyway, first thing is first. If we come here and we look at the potion shop, uh, it's just the regular potion shop. Uh, but no, we come in and we're like, what the hell is this? And we walk down the stairs. Donk, 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 donk. Da -da -da -da. Psh. And I don't know if uh, anyone's really shown this in their videos yet, because it might be in Grace's episode today, or Tom Wolf might have talked to in his episode about it, but I don't really know, because I'm pre-recording videos, and it might be awkward, but hey, I need to come in here anyway and buy something. Uh, but yeah, this is the new potion shop. It is what I have always wanted on the server. It's a machine that makes potions for you. Just click these levers, and it makes the potions for you. So um, here we can see, assuming this... Wait, what does this say? Oh, we got jump boost over here. Uh, assuming that this is uh, lit, the machine has enough balls to work. Okay, sweet. And uh, stack up here. Oh, st stand up here. Okay, yeah. Um, all right, so basically how this works, uh, this is just the thing that explains it all to know some people who don't know how it works. But uh, these lights up here indicate what... Um, what are what are available uh, you can see all the ingredients up here um, excluding weakness and if we open up all these little I think what are these are these droppers yeah if we open up these droppers you can see all the ingredients in here the one that'll probably be the lowest is yeah gas tears which I think I might I have like half a stack of gas tears also so I might just give those to Tom Hawk or, or whatever I'll see um, night vision and okay well I thought he had a bunch of night vision grace did or is that like down here still or something i don't know i don't know but i know what's going on with the shop in here talking about this freaking shop dude this is so dark down here you're gonna get creepers spawned down here bro freaking light up this stuff this is an, this is an amazing invention you don't want to get blown up but uh yeah you can see all the ingredients here uh the lamp at the top indicates whether the ingredient is available the lamp at the bottom is turned on when you flick the lever so like this um which is pretty cool. Uh, and what I need right now are potions of weakness. And there are some in here, of course. So let's just take these. Um, all right. Wow, that's handy. Uh, and I need six. But uh, just for the lols, let's craft a potion of... Um, let's do... Let's just do something simple. Let's just do a swiftness potion. Let's do swiftness too. Um, so what you do is you just... Well, there's a little X back there. You just select the ones that you want. Uh, if you remember the potions, it's a lot easier, but you, swiftness, you need a uh, an orca potion, which you need that. To do the swiftness, you do... Well, it's all, it's all indicated at the top here, which is pretty simple. Um, that, and then for the... Uh, this increase the potency of the potions. Let's do that. And then you just click this button here, flicks the lamp on, and then plays a little sound, and then the potion should start brewing in here, which is really, really cool. Um, and I'm not going to stand here. Actually, why don't I not have my armor on? Oh, I has low durability. Oh, well, I'll just turn it back on. Um, but yeah, we can watch the potion brew, but I'm not going to do that now. And uh, Oh, we need to pay, of course. Last time, I freaking bought potions. I got super confused, but it's two two gold ingots per potion. Uh, we got six. There'll be 12 gold ingots. So let's just drop in two gold blocks because that's usually what I do. I usually just round it up because I'm lazy like that. I'm a lazy guy, but hey, I'm still paying the full price. So hate is going to hate. Whoop. And let's pay it down here. There we go. And does that go anywhere or does that... Okay, oh yeah, that goes into a dropper system. Sweet! So that's pretty cool. That's the new potion shop. I'll probably be using potions a lot, lot more now that it's like super easy to craft them. Um, yeah, which is... Oh my... Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell? Did freaking camera just join and then, uh, just leave again? But no, All right. Um, what else is new? There is... Uh, oh, there's a creeper over here. Or is that something else? Uh, oh yeah, there's a creeper right here. Bank robber. Thief. Get out of here, thief. It actually just stopped raining. That's weird. It was raining like a second ago, and then I relogged, and that stopped raining. Uh, I think there's another thing in here over here. Has Kevin changed the price of his emeralds? Because I heard someone said that he changed the price. No, it's still the same. Uh, still, yeah, thing full of emeralds. I've actually been doing a lot of villager work between episodes. I've been playing on the server for like six hours straight. Um, but yes, um, and I don't think there's anything new down here, 
Uh, it's so slow, freaking running through spawn with no freaking speediness. Uh, no, nah, nothing new down here. Got the iron chop. Uh, this prop four thing I think actually works now, but it's probably sold out. Oh no, it's still got one one thing in it. Oh, I hear a freaking sheep. Meh. Um, and yeah, I think that's is that, that that's it for spawn. I think that is uh that's it. I don't think there's anything new. Uh, now if we come over to my shop over here. Bum ba da dum bum 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 ba. Let's go, dude. There's the speed too. I really don't want that gas to get taken down. That gas looks sick up there. It's a great way to advertise the freaking uh the, the museum. So uh yeah, this is my new shop that I built last episode. This is Straub Co Wholesale Food. Uh now there's a little bit of freaking uh controversy in the comments on the last episode. Like I don't know, people like to make big deals out of small things. It's a freaking shop on the SMP server guys and you're acting like I killed like I griefed the entire server by making this shop But uh, yeah, there's a little bit of complaint saying oh, you're just stealing mr. Mitch's business But guys there's freaking shops on the server that steal each other's business It's how the server works and mine and mr. Mitch's shop are two complete completely different things If you think about the shops in the real world mr. Mitch's shop is sort of like a quick in and out shop like you know It's it's freaking fast food like you go there you pay a cheap price and you get like a, a small amount of food Or you pay a little bit of a price and you get a little bit a little bit of food Mine is for like the money savers the people who want to save their money or the people who like save up their money or the people who just have a crap ton of money and they want to buy a crap ton of stuff it's completely different. If you're poor on the server, it's not like you can just come to my shop and buy a, a bunch of stuff for a cheap price. It's still going to cost you a, a quite a, a quite a lot of amount. So I'm not really stealing the business from him. If people are poor on the server, they're obviously going to Mitch's shop. But if there's a bunch of people who like have a lot of money on the server, but they you know want to spend it wisely, they'll come to my shop, which is just like that's my business uh, decision. But I have not done anything in the shop, and I'm probably going to finish off before the end of today's episode. Uh, I've been getting some stuff from my villagers, uh, some meats, and all those goods. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Byroni's new shop isn't really done. Anything else? Um, and no, there's nothing new down here. Nothing new down here. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll uh, I'll jump back over to my uh, what's it called now? My um my my little villager farm place. So I'll be right back. I guess while I walk down here, I can quickly talk about this because I want to talk about this at spawn, but I didn't really want to waste my time. Um, so in six days, I'm actually moving out. I talked about this in cube episode 98, I think. Uh, it's titled Straub's Apartment, which is kind of like a double lol, lol. Um, but I'm moving out in six days, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm super excited for it. I'm counting down the seconds. Freaking two hours and 38. No, okay. Um, but yeah, in six days, I'm moving out. I'm moving out on Monday, the 28th of... July, <laughs> uh, and I'm moving to this new place, um, which is in the same. It's like it's like 30 minutes from this this place that I'm moving out, which is my, which is my mom's house. But I'm moving out, turning into an adult. I'm super excited. Gonna have super good internet. Gonna be streaming. I've said this multiple times. But yes, I'm super excited. Uh, the only thing is, there's probably going to be a few pre-recorded videos uh, for the next few days. Uh, one, for example, would, this be, would be this Q episode. Good thing for you guys is, videos are going to be out like early every day. They're going to be out at normal times. So if you guys have gotten used to me releasing videos late in the day because I haven't been pre-recording recently, that's, I'm sorry, <laughs> they're going to be released early now, um, and there's probably not going to be much more than one video a day, uh, some days I might release two if I get a chance to pre-record a little bit more, but I've just been extremely busy the past few days, and, uh, like, I, like, I, I don't know, I'm just getting, like, a little bit stressed, and, uh, a lot of people would be like, yo, Mitchell, take a break, but thing is, I don't know, I've been, I, 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 YouTube's a big game with myself, and I, I've been uploading a video every day since, like, I think I took one video off last year, so, I don't know, I've been on a pretty good streak this year, I've been on, what, like, this is the seventh month of the year, we're rolling into the eighth month, and I've been uploading, you know, a video every single day, and even multiple on some day, or I used to upload even three videos a day before, you know, I tried to up my video quality a little bit more, and, you know, do a lot more in my videos than, you know, quality over quantity, um, yeah, but I've been going on a pretty good streak, and I don't want to break that streak, so I'm going to still try and get videos up, but, um, yeah, I've just been, just been stressing about stuff, and I don't know, I'd rather, I'd rather be happy in my videos rather than recording them, like, after a long, long day. Okay, so, we're over here at the, uh, at the villager thing, so, so yeah, that's what I just wanted to say, I might also release, like, a little vlog, um, talking about this stuff, 
because uh, I've been going out on a lot of walks recently. And uh, if you guys, if you guys sit in your house all day and you play your computer games, just go out on a walk, guys, because uh, it's a good time to think. I like traveling for long amounts of time because it gives me a lot of time to think. Which is, I don't know, if I'm just sitting on the computer all day, I don't really think about stuff too much. I'm too busy like focusing. But if you don't have too much for your brain to focus on, it gives you a lot of time to think. Which is why, I, hey, get out of here, freaking zombie. That's why I always, uh, that's why I kind of miss, like, walking home from school and stuff, because, uh, I don't know, but I've, I've started, like, you know, going on, like, freaking 10-kilometer walks every day and, and just thinking about stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I've just been, I've just been thinking about that stuff, so I might make, like, a little vlog and, uh, just explain what's going on, because there's a lot of stuff that I want to talk about that's happening on my channel, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's all good stuff. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Um, okay, but over here, let's get started into this. Ooh, lag spike. Um, so... Over here we have something brand new at my place. You can see that I've done a lot of cleaning up. I was uh, I was getting a little bit frustrated how this how messy and like tight and small and cramped this place was getting. So I cleared out all the villagers here. There was a huge villager huddle here which I didn't like. So I cleared them all out uh, and I moved them over to here. And what this is is this is a new villager farm. It's not working right now, and I think the reason's cause either the villagers in there at the moment just don't like each other, or I don't have enough in there, or something, so I'm gonna get some more, which is why I got these potions of weakness, I'm gonna translate some, uh, some zombies, villager zombies, but it's, oh, it's going out of night time right now, so I have to wait till the next night, I'm gonna translate some of those, uh, into regular zombies, uh, regular villagers, and then toss them in there, uh, but yeah, it's a pretty simple design, it's nothing too big and too complicated, basically, uh, for a villager to breed now, they need to have food, so I built a pretty simple wheat farm in here, I don't have carrots or potatoes or anything, so I just did wheat, and, uh, it's pretty simple and uh, up here is a uh, another village up there and he's to simulate the village and then these guys are supposed to harvest the wheat and toss bread to each other uh, and that makes them willing and then they breed and then once they give birth to a baby the baby squeezes under this little spot under here which is a one block gap which these guys can't fit under and then it goes into this little soul sand part over here and once you once you're in soul sand um, you can't get back out if you're like one block tall because soul sand is 15 15 six 15 out of 16 of a block, so, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, and then you can't get out, and then once they go down there, they fall down into this place in here, and then they bounce on these slime blocks, and then they're safely in here, which I'll eventually decorate in here, uh, when I, when I get the time to, but, uh, right now, it's just pretty simple, this, this works the way it is, uh, and these guys haven't been bred or anything, these are just other villagers, and, uh, they ran in here during the night, cause that's just how villagers work, they run towards doors and other villagers, um, but, yeah, that's pretty good, there's no more villagers out here, no more running around, no more that I have to worry about dying, uh, I got a brand new cow pen, there's a lot more cows in here now, uh, I got rid of the little chicken farm, cause I was getting too many eggs and too much lag and stuff, so, I just made a pretty simple chicken farm over here, cause chickens like to go to the edge of fences for some reason, it's just part of their AI, so, you know, if they want to breed egg, lay eggs, they can just lay eggs here, uh, I got these chests here, this one's full of eggs, this one's starting to get my meat chest, this is going to be the start of my little business I got going here, I got some chicken here, got some uh, pork chap here, got some steak here, and of course the pumpkin pie, hey little chicken guy, got a farm out here, got my emerald block beacon of course, and uh, I did. A little, I put a little enchanting table here because I didn't have one, and amazingly, that's the first enchanting table I've made on the cube, and I unlocked a couple of achievements which is pretty cool, which ones were, did I unlock, I unlocked uh, this guy, enchanter, then I got, uh, what's it called, overkill, what's this one? Put some bookshelves in previous enchantment table. I did that, didn't I? Is that what the green means? Okay, I don't know. No, I haven't. It says I haven't done that. Why haven't I done that? Okay, that's weird. Um, but yeah, I've done a lot of a lot of achievements on the cube. I just need to freaking do this one now. Adventure time. That's the hard one. Uh, but yeah, in here now I have a few more villagers. They're just chilling in here until I move them to a better place. Eventually, what I want to do is I want to build another place behind this villager farm over here, and I want that to be where I store all my villagers that have good trades and stuff, because. Uh, because, like, that's what I'm going to do with my XP bottle villager because he's super rare and, you know, lock him away and make sure he's safe. And then over here, I don't have anything too fancy to show, but I have a uh, little tree farm that I started working on because someone had said in my comments, like, tree farm or something about trees, and I was like, I want to make a tree farm. Uh, and I've been cutting down a bunch of wood and I got a bunch of apples for that, which is good because I want to use these apples to make gold apples. It looks like this little thing over here has got stuck. And I actually figured out the other day what happens, why these actually get stuck. And uh, every now and then the server will lag a tiny bit and uh, just like a little lag spike and that is enough of lag to make one piston retract while these ones all move for some reason and it just makes these guys move this one stays here and then that that happens it just it, ha it happened in front of my eyes yesterday so 
Yeah, there's really nothing I can do about it. It's just the server. It just lags because that's just how servers work when you have people on them and, and stuff moving and things. Is this one stuck as well? No, okay, this guy's still moving. Sweet! I actually have a lot of sugar cane because I went AFK for a long amount of time. I have like two double chests full down there which I need to sort out. But now I'm going to go ahead and try and get some more zombie villagers. I'm going to... Oh, actually, I want to show you guys this. A lot of talking here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A lot of talking. A lot of action. And plus, it's like 5 a.m. while I'm recording this, so I'm a little bit tired. But hey, got to get this video up before I go to sleep. Um, this villager here is... Uh, this guy's an old one because you can't buy uh, steak from villagers anymore. Um, but this guy here, he uh, trades pork chop and uh, chicken. And they're, they're two things that you can get from butchers now, which is really cool. And uh, then I have another one here, which does the, uh, the pork chop and the chicken, which is really, really cool. Uh, so that's how I'm going to be supplying all the food for my shop because it's really, really easy to get a lot of that stuff. So if we just do this, go in here, put this in here, and then we... Oh, I don't have much room, but I can just get like that. There we go. Four animals just got me 24 steak, which is so easy to get because that's just like a little bit of paper. And that unlocks all those trades, and then I can just get back here. Uh, yeah, let's do some more of that. Bam. Bam. Let me do the chicken one. Bam. Reset it. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. And then pumpkin pie is super easy to get and everything else. But, uh... Yeah, that's how I'm gonna supply the food for my for my shop, and uh, I'm gonna do some more work. Wait till night time, get some zombie villagers, toss them into that thing up there, see if that breeds them, and then we'll be back, and good things will happen. Oh man, I'm so oh. So I guess I can I can quickly talk about this before nightfall. So I just traded like two stacks of emeralds, got a lot more stuff. Um, prices. So let's just say two gold blocks. I just cracked on my knuckles. Sorry if you guys thought that was gross. <laughs> Let's just say two gold blocks to every stack of food in here. Let's just say that. Well, not these guys. Punk pie. Exclude those. But two gold blocks to every stack of food in here. I'm thinking about selling them in stacks of nine. And stacks of nine just because that fits evenly into chests. Like, you know, we can put, you know, whatever. Like six stacks of nine in a, in a double chest. Or, you know, three stacks of nine in a single chest. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking about... And you can put nine... What the hell? Okay. <sighs> You can put three stacks and you can put a stack of nine into um, a dropper or hopper. So that's pretty good. No, not dropper, hopper. Uh, dropper or dispenser. So that's how I want to do that. And I'm thinking about doing... I don't know if I want to do like a special deal where I do like... Um, like if you buy nine stacks, you get this price. 18 stacks, you get this price. And 27 stacks, you get this price. I think I'm just going to stick to the nine. Uh, and then if like you buy... Oh, I don't know actually. I'm thinking... Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to do a discount, and I'm not going to do 18 gold blocks for 9 stacks. I'm probably going to do, like, 12 gold blocks for for, for nine, 9 stacks, and, yeah, I think that's how I'm going to do it. So, you know, this chest here, it's freaking, like, a stack of gold blocks, and it's actually a good thing, because uh, I've, I've, I've tried to my best to be the richest on the server, but I'm actually running pretty low now. It's pretty sloppy with my cash. Got quite a lot of iron, got a little bit of diamonds, but, ugh. Not looking too good with that. I might. I, I think I just. I, I think I just go on my mine grind again and get a bunch of diamonds. I mean, it's not that hard to get a stack of diamonds after like you know a couple hours of mining. So should try and do that. Then they'll give me another stack of gold blocks. But uh, yeah. Now it's the night time. I'm gonna go look for some zombie villagers and uh, yeah, dude. Wish me freaking luck. Oh yeah, I have a diamond hoe. I'm breaking one. It's enchanted. I like it. It's cool. I uh, I wanted one, so I I got one. I can't find anything. Another thing that I, that that I. <clears throat> God damn. Freaking talk with your mouth. <laughs> Another thing that I forgot to mention was uh, I'm actually trying to breed some sheep up because I also want to sh shell sell. <laughs> I also want to sell mutton in my shop when that. Oh, is that a freaking zombie village? Is there one down here with me? No, doesn't look like it. What about you down here, sir? Are you a zombie villager? Uh, no, I always get these lag spikes around here. I don't know what it is. It's either like my slime farm or I think I think it's actually my um my piston my my reed harvester thing. I think that makes like little like frame lag, but mm, I don't really care. I can deal with it. it. Makes me infinite reeds. Woo. Um. Uh, but what was I saying? Oh uh, yeah. So I I started breeding some sheep in my little pen over there because I'm waiting for the server to update. I'm waiting for freaking Mojang to release a stable snapshot so we can update and get mutton from sheep and also uh, waiting to update so I can get uh rabbits and then farm those and get whatever it is rabbit rabbit meat and then we can sell that as well which will be sick. Uh, I don't know how much rabbit meat heals but hopefully it heals like a decent amount and uh, hopefully the rabbits aren't too hard to find because I don't know if I. Just need to like drop two of them in a minecart, or they'll naturally naturally spawn in already generated terrain. I don't know we'll see, but uh, yeah, hopefully they're not too hard to get because uh, I want to get some rabbits and mess around with them, make some potions of jump boost or whatever. <laughs> That'll be pretty cool. 
Uh, but yeah, back on the hunt for some some villages. Dude, I don't think these one in twenty my butthole, dude. These are things that are impossible to find. Freaking one in twenty percent chance, five percent chance every every zombie that spawns is, is gonna be a, a zombie village. Bull spit, dude. I can't see nothing, and the night is almost goneth, which sucks. All right, so I think I might just uh, move some of my stock over because uh, this isn't working out too good. Where are you? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Boring. Great. This is just great. <sighs> All right. Good. Ah. Ah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come to me, zombie. Oh, and it's raining, so if it becomes daytime, you'll still... Oh, my God. Look at the the crap behind me. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Don't get in this arrow, zombie. No, don't do it. Don't do it. You got this. Yes. 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 It feels so good seeing one. I have... Uh-oh. Oh, I thought he was going to hit that arrow. Alright, you get out of here, dude. Move out of my way. Get out of my... F Ow! Well, okay. I'm lagging a bit over here. Oh, oh, that... Oh. Okay, oh, I thought the zombie died. Alright, no big deal. Whew! Alright. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No? Hello? There we go. Alright. You just gotta get out of the road, Creeper, and then we're good. We're good. He can just jump down, toss a potion on him, and he's good. Alright, come down here. Come hither, zombie. Yes, jump. Uh oh, is the rain clearing? No, are you okay? I don't you dare clear rain. Okay, bam, yes, and bam. They they did it work. Did I did I give him the the thing? Did I didn't hear him make the noise? Did it did it work? Uh Zombie I don't think Oh wait, I think I have I have hostile sound sounds turned off, so I don't think it made the noise. And I will just put him right over here. Ow! Stop that! Cut that out. Nope. Bad, 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 bad. There we go. Yay! We have a zombie trapped! <gasps> is he changing? I think he's changing. Yeah, he's shaking. He's got the jitters. Nice, dude. Okay. Let me just get something over his face so he is all good in case the rain cuts out. Oh, ow! That hurts. I think he has strength after, uh, um, after you put that potion on him, he has strength, so he's hitting kind of hard. And we'll wait and see what he turns into. Aha! Oh, it's a freaking blacksmith. What do you have, armorer? Oh, dang. Not even like a tool guy. Alright, let's get you in the hole. Let's go. And maybe that's the thing. Maybe I just don't have enough villages in here for it to be counting as a village. Alright, and he should hopefully uh, jump up here. Let's see what he does. And let's go. Come on up, dude. Let's go. Let's get out of here, bro. Come on. Get up. That's how you gonna. That's how you get in here. You gotta go. You gotta go up the stairs there, dude. Come on, come on, come on! This is taking uh, this is taking too long to get all these guys freaking in here, and still looks like they're not breathing. So I'll mess around with this a little bit more off screen. Whoa! Nearly fell all the way down there. Actually, let me just check real quick. Any uh, any babies pop down here? Nope. Doesn't look like. Wait, was that a baby? Nope. Okay. No, 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 there's not a lot of these guys are breeding, so I'm just going to take a little bit more food back to spawn for my shop. I've taken... Actually, do I, is there anything else I need to take? I think it's just pumpkin pie, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I'm going to take this back to spawn. Let me toss all this extra stuff back into here. I think that's right. Yeah, that's all I need to toss back into here. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys back at spawn where I'm going to finish my new shop. Woo! 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 Alright, um, so... <sighs> All right, so I have two lines of steak. I have two lines of chicken. I have three lines of pumpkin pie, and I have two lines of pork chap in this chest here that I just broke. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this here like it's hot, and I have these stairs in my inventory. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some more stairs like this. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's that looks looking good. Okay, looking good, looking good. Uh, there we go. Oh. Okay, that's good enough. Alright, let's just use these ones. So, let's snap up this. 
Oh, I have no room. Uh, get out. Oh, wait, no, I need you. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. Wait, no, no, I don't need all this freaking pork chop on me. Get out. Okay. <laughs> I'm freaking losing myself with all this food, guys. Okay, so, what I'm gonna do is, in this shop, is you walk in, and the shelves. Why are there shelves, Mitchell? Dude, I don't freaking know. Maybe because it's like a wholesale food shop? I don't know, but I can't really think of a design for this place without, I don't know, I kind of want to make it like, you know what, like, Costco is like, it's freaking shelves to the roof, but like, I don't want to make it look ugly, so look at that, there's some shelves, shelf, 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 okay, come on, you get the idea, come on, come on game, there we go, alright, actually, maybe we did need that many shelves, okay, we did use a lot of them, okay, nearly done, nearly done. That, and then we have six more. Okay, what do we have the freaking perfect amount? And then at the back of the shop here is where I think I'm gonna put everything. So we're gonna put uh, let's bump this. Oh, did I pick it up the chest? No, I don't think I did. Oh, wait, I did. There we go. So we're gonna put this guy here and let's toss the rest of the steak up in here. Bam. And then let's break this guy here. Oh, okay, chicken, chicken, chicken. I love chicken. Mmm, baby, that's some chicken. And then let's toss all this up here. And that's my chicken there. And let's break this. Oh, okay. Did not pick up the chest that time. Where's my chest at, bro? This is like freaking factions raiding up my own chests. Bam, there we go. And then let's load all this up here. There we go. Nice. And we're left with my own stack of pumpkin pie. And, uh, okay. That looks pretty good. And then, of course, we need a payments chest. So let's get one of those as well. Bam. Oh, I need a tripwire hook. Oh, was an was an was an atom. There's an atom down here. <laughs> oh, someone uh someone tried to get I think someone actually tried to go into Russia's obsidian shop and they're like, "Um, why is this covered with obsidian?" And then they like mine it a bit and they're like, "Oh, I think this is a prank, bro." All right, let's do this. Okay, oh, wait, I need to turn this into this first. And then in the middle here we'll put our payments chest for payments, of course. Oh, crap. How do you make one of these? There we go. Let's do that. Oh, wait, how do you make the... There we go, next to it. Okay, let's get back over to here. Damn, I like I like the look of this shop. I don't know, maybe I'll do that more often, like, because when it comes to building, like, I don't like to say that I'm a good builder or anything. Um, Actually, let's just make this... Oh, I hate these freaking shops where you have to... Uh, okay, let's make a let's actually make a hopper or something. Oh, do I need to get multiple hoppers? Wait a second. Hold on. I'm gonna make this thing because this is gonna be boring to make. There we go. There we go. All right. There's my little payment system. Bam. One day I'll hopefully put a lever back here that just opens that, and then I don't have to break a block every time I want to check my payments because I hate that. I hate that payment system. And then in here I'm gonna put a sign here saying payments. Of course. What was I saying? I was saying um uh. I was saying, like, I don't like, uh, when I build, if I think about it too much, um, I, I feel like the build isn't good, but if I just go with the flow, like, if I think of something in my head and I just build, it always comes out good. Like, that's what I did with the future shop, that's what I did with this shop, like, I didn't plan anything, I just built it as I thought of it, and it came out pretty decent. So I might just do that with my other future builds, because it always comes out good. Uh, and then in here I'm gonna say, um, one line, nine stacks, um, uh, and then we're gonna say 12 di uh, gold blocks and then and then over here we'll say uh, steak and pork in here and then over here we'll say chicken and pie and then we'll say for these guys I'm just gonna do 10 um, uh, one line nine stacks they change how signs work now, it's weird. <laughs> uh, equals 10 gold blocks. There we go. And then I'm over here gonna say, welcome to Strobco. Oh, I can't fit that. Strobco. This is the. Here you can buy lots of food for. Lo oh, it doesn't fit! And done. There we go. Welcome to Strobco. Here you can buy large amounts of food for low, low prices. And then we have uh, one line, nine stacks. Oh, should I say, um, I'll put another sign up here saying, uh, please. Wait, I put, I'll put it on the chest, actually. Um, 
uh, only purchase you 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 can only purchase 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 oh there goes Kevin in bulk there we go all right sweet uh, oh what if people don't understand that hmm people should understand that I think people should understand that actually I just removed that sign hopefully people will understand it hopefully someone doesn't just go oh yeah so nine stacks equals 12 so I'll divide 12 by nine um he can buy there we go nice okay hopefully that makes sense now here you can buy lines and nine stacks of food for low low prices and there we go all right i think we are done here let's mine up this crafting box take that with our put it in our back pocket straw curry is open for business hello devon mines what's going on hey buddy iron sword dude you're poor get away get out of here <laughs> i'm kidding um but yeah that's gonna be it for this episode of the qsmp if you guys do baby now get the crap out of me Lucky I double F5 right there and then stop running. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to slap it up like it helps out a stack. There'll be a brand new episode out in the next couple days. And as far as I know, you've been watching. I've been Strawberry Camp. This has been QSB. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>